thank you, thanks for organizer, especially Keiji Tanaka, for giving a chance to talk here. And uh, I'm interested in the uh, anatomically what kind of neuron exists in the neocortex. In the neocortex, two types of neuron exist. One is non-pyramidal cell, diabasic, other is pyramidal cells. But 80% of cells are glutamatergic pyramidal cells. And uh, pyramidal cells is project to the extra, different extracortical areas. And uh, projection sites are different between layers. Uh, neocortex composes several layers. Upper layers, layer two, three, project mainly other cortical areas. In frontal cortex, some cells project amygdala. And in deep layers, layer five, for example, project to the, in addition to the cortical layers, uh, other cortices, or in addition, uh, sub, sub cortical structures, such as striatum, thalamus, pontine nuclei, and the spinal cord. And the important thing, uh, pyramidal cells are not only project, projection cells, but also work as local circuit neurons because they have axon collaterals in the, within the cortex. And their axon collaterals target also not only diabagic cells, also target other pyramidal cells. That means uh, recurrent excited reconnections they make. And if there is a excitation, reciprocal excitation, uh, excited connections, recurrent excited connections, in some cases, they are excited reverberation circuit. They may form excited reverberation circuit. Uh, in frontal cortex, uh, pyramidal cells, are like pyramidal cells, make uh, reverberation circuits. But in addition, frontal cortex may make a uh, reciprocal uh, uh, rever excited re reverberation circuit with uh, extra cortical structures. Uh, so in frontal cortex, make two uh, 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 loop circuit with uh, subcortical structures, including thalamocortical projections. One is corticopontine cerebrothalamocortical loop circuit. The other is frontal basal ganglia thalamocortical circuit. This is striatum and basal ganglia, uh, striatum input side of the basal ganglia, globus pallidus internal segment, substantia nigra pallus retica is the uh, output side. Anyway, these two loops uh, make an uh, excited re reverberation circuit, uh, ex uh, uh, excited re loops. My question is how these two uh, loops are uh, uh, frontal cortical and uh, local circuit is organized to, uh, uh, to uh, extra cortical loops. Then, first we investigated the intracortical connections uh, of pyramidal cells projecting to the striatum and the pons. Then we injected the tracer to the pons or striatum and investigated the connection properties of these two types of pyramidal cells. But uh, in the uh, um, corticopontine cells exist in the uh, mostly layer five in the frontal cortical areas. Frontal cortical area is divided to the uh, prefrontal areas and the secondary motor areas, primary motor areas. But in the, these corticopontine cells, all uh, corticopontine cells uh, send axon to the ipsilateral striatum. <coughs> then we, we do, we'd like to identify the exclusively project to the striatum. Then we uh, study the specific subtype of corticostriatal cell by intra, uh, tracer injected to the contralateral striatum. We, we name these cell, uh, cells by our cell, uh, tentatively crossed corticostriatal cells, CCS cells. And we call these pontine cells corticopontine cells. Then uh, we abbreviated CPN cells, CPN cells and CCS cells. And uh, CPN, CCS cells are more abundantly exist in the secondary motor area compared to, of course, any, any cortical areas contain CCS cells, but uh, mo most abundantly the secondary motor areas. Secondary motor areas different from primary motor area is a low, 
uh, induction, movement induction with lower current is difficult, and uh, projection is different from primary motor areas, such as sec um, secondary motor area project amygdala. And uh, uh, these CPN and CCS cells are morphologically very different, and this is a uh, example of reconstructed pyramidal cells. CPS cells develop apical dendritic tuft well and dense uh, basal, basal dendritic arborization compared to the CCS cells. Their connection is not symmetrical and we found unidirectionally connected. If paired recording from CCS and CPS cells, CCS to CPN cell connections are found easily but we rarely found back projection CPN to CCS cells. That means uh, layer five pyramidal cells uh, high, uh, hierarchy, higher, made hierarchy connections depend on the projection target. And uh, next, uh, these, uh, these uh, two, both groups within, within individual groups, they, uh, they, uh, they connect to each other uh, by local axon collaterals. Uh, for the reverberation circuit, for making excitatory reverberation circuit, uh, synaptic strength and reciprocity and temporal characteristics, intrinsic uh, electrophysiological properties important for generation of reverberation circuit. Then we examine the fat kind of characteristics uh, these uh, in intra-group uh, synaptic connections have made by paired recording or triple, triple cell recording. This is an example of paired recording and reconstruction of two cells, and the contact site was shown in red marks. Uh, both groups are intra-groups. Intra uh, they connected about 10% connection rate. But the most different, uh, different thing is that CPN cells is three times higher than CCS cells made reciprocally connected. That is uh, more reciprocally connected. CPN cells are more reciprocally connected than CCS cells. In the syn synaptic strength, uh, connect, uh, synaptic strength is depend on the uh, projection type or reciprocity. This is a uh, 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 Reciprocally connected CP, P, CPN cells have a, a show a, some connections show a high amplitude EPSP was ha found in reciprocally connected C, CPN cells com, as, um, compared to other groups. That means the CPN CPN cells connected reciprocally uh, also uh, strongly connected. Then, uh, short term plasticity. Uh, the short-term plasticity between two, two groups is also different. Uh, this is uh, uh, short, uh, paired stimulation of presynaptic cells compared to EPSP amplitude. In the upper cases, one individual, uh, one case of CPN-CPN connection. The lower cases, one case of CCS-CCS connections. Mostly, CPN-CPN connections are variable among between trials, but mostly facilitated. But CCS, CCS also variable, mostly depressed are found. And we found several tens of pairs compared to this uh, relation by plotted first EPSP amplitude and second EPSP amplitude. And CPN, CPN cells mostly uh, facilitate even in the, uh, even in the uh, larger amplitude EPSP. But CCS, CCS cells are depressing most amplitude. That this uh, difference of temporal characteristics depend on the presynaptic nature because we plotted coefficient of variation of ratio for, uh, of second EPSC against EPSC, uh, first EPSP, plotted against, uh, paired pulse ratio plotted against this ratio. And if the uh, facilitation case, uh, second EPSP uh, CV uh, reduced, but uh, depression case, uh, the uh, depression case, uh, uh, second EPSC uh, CV is increased. This is, uh, this is also C CPN case also that, and this is include CCS CPN case. CCS CPN case similar to CCS to CCS case. This is our plot, but the most classical plot 
inverse of CV square ratio against paired pulse ratio. This is unity, unity line. And the CP and CPN connection is above the unity line. And the CCS, CCS connection lower the unity line. This plot shows uh, this uh, temporal characteristic difference is presynaptic nature. That means the CP and CPN connection more facilitated than C, uh, EPSC from the CCS cells. And in addition, these CPN, uh, CPN cells and CCS cells are uh, intrinsic, uh, the, sorry, my English is bad. <laughs> intrinsic electrophysiological property between CPN and CCS cells. Uh, as already known, layer five pyramidal cells are heterogeneous uh, among the pyramidal cells. And, uh, but depends on the internal solution. But uh, all, most, uh, 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 most uh, uh, investigators reported. We tentatively uh, layer five pyramidal cells, three classes, uh, slow adapting cell, and slow adapting cell uh, with initial doublet firing, and fast adapting cells. And uh, co uh, quantitatively uh, divided three groups. And we found this electrophysiological difference is correlated with uh, projection type. CPN cells mostly slow adapting cells, the adaptation weak. And the CCS cells are fast adapting cells. Adaptation is uh, uh, strong. And uh, to, uh, these, uh, to summarize, we, we uh, found uh, there are two groups are different, uh, physiologically different, and hierarchically connected from CCS to CPN cells. And the CPN cells are more reciprocally connected and facilitating synapse, larger EPSC was found in CPN pairs. That means uh, this uh, CPN pairs are more suitable for making excited reverberation circuit. By the way, CCS cells are special cells and uh, is a project to the both sides of the striatum. And in addition to the striatum, this uh, CCS cell project to the contralateral cortex. And this is a contralateral cortex carousally projecting cells. We call commissural cells, comb cells. And what is a uh, what type of CCS cell among the commissural comb cells? Uh, uh, contralateral projecting cells are distributed, comb cells are distributing layer two, three to layer six. Of course, layer five and layer two, three, a lot of comb cells are found. We uh, investigate the comb cell firing pattern by identified by retrograde labeling. We found comb cells contained both fast adapting cell and slow adapting cell. Different distribution pattern from CCS cells. This suggests that the comb cells contain other than the CCS, at least other than the CCS cells and com contain the heterogeneous groups. Then we compare the morphology of comb cells, fast adapting comb cells and the slow adapting comb cells by uh, intracellular staining and reconstructions. And the slow adapting comb cells are uh, uh, more developed uh, apical dendro leaf duct compared to fast adapting comb cells. Fast adapting comb cells very similar to the, as expected, similar to CCS cells. That means at least commissural projecting cells divided to the two classes. Then next we investigate the layer five, intra layer five connections by commissural comb cells by after identification firing pattern. A similar firing pattern comb cells are co more connected, but uh, different uh, fire comb cells with different firing pattern rarely connected. That means uh, uh, layer five uh, co uh, pyramidal commissural cells, uh, different, different classes, and uh, intrinsic uh, internal local circuit connection also differentiated. Next, we investigate how organized to the interlaminar connections depending on the, this type of uh, layer five pyramidal cell subtypes. And we simultaneously recorded layer five cells and single cells are commissural comb cells are stimulated by glutamate application, single, almost single cells are stimulated. In this case, uh, two cells are recorded, uh, common input was found. And common input was found between comb and comb cells pairs. If uh, these pairs are similar sub firing subtypes, they receive more common input than heterotype of comb cells. 
and the COM cells and CPN simultaneously record it. If COM cells, SA, uh, slow adapting COM cells, the CPN cells mostly slow adapting COM cells. In this case, uh, more uh, common inputs are found, but FA COM cells and uh, CPN cells are common input much less found. Then we now, at least three classes are found in layer five, and two of them are uh, projecting contralateral side. One of cells are corticopontin cells. One type of C called CCS cells projected to the contralateral striatum both. And layer two, three, uh, from layer interlaminar excitation from layer two, three, are organized according to the, this layer five projection si systems. This is a dis uh, descriptive anatomy of layer five. And we are still investigating the other projection types. But from now, I'd like to discuss a functional differentiation. I'd like to the possibility of functional differentiation two groups. And especially, uh, especially if, if this CCS cells and the CC CPN cells, because these two pathways are downstream are well investigated by some groups. And first, we, we'd, we'd like to discuss a functional distribution. This is a one of the loop, cortical basal ganglia, the thalamocortical loops. First, I'd like to consider thalamocortical projections. Thalamocortical projections are not homogeneous. In homogeneous, uh, for example, uh, basal ganglia-related thalamic nuclei mostly um, projected to the layer one. And, uh, uh, these are uh, cerebral loops, mostly layer two, three B. This is a uh, well correspondence of ma matrix or hypothesis by Ted Jones, uh, unfortunately died last year. But the uh, CPN cells mostly extended layer one, but CCS cells poor uh, developed in uh, apical dendrite in layer one. From this uh, anatomical observation, we think the cortex uh, CCS loop, CCS cells uh, make open loop uh, participation in the cortical basal ganglia loop, but the CPN cells is closed loop uh, participation in the cortical basal ganglia thalamic loop. And, in the, and I'd like next consider the, this basal ganglia internal structures. Before I studied the projection system to uh, striatal projection system divided into two classes. One is the striatum, uh, striatum to the substantia nigra pulsed reticulata called SNR directly project. Other system is project uh, intervening globus pulse inter external cell GPE inhibitory and inhibitory connection. Then the action is this is inhibitory, this is this inhibitory system. The action is opposite, very co different internal organization. And the interesting, recently interesting anatomical uh, observation is the CCS cells more preferentially, not exclusively, uh, preferentially in a direct system, but insist, instead CPN cells are more innovated, two or four times innovated in direct system. Compared to the, this our observation, anatomical observation, this Anton Liner's group observation, we we think the uh, uh, cortical basal ganglia system, CPN cells are closed loop, but the inhibi inhibition system, uh, uh, closed loop participation. But CCS cells, excitatory connections, open loop connections. And this is very simplified because uh, this layer five system further divided the two classes. Today, I have no time. It, uh, uh, could not introduce a layer five subsystem, but at least uh, layer five is divided into two sublayers in, the, in the frontal cortex. Upper is called layer five A, not called we call <laughs> layer five A, and this is a, a thalamic input lower. Layer five B thalamic input more. This is a cortical spinal cells are found, but the layer five A cortical pontin cells contain cortical thalamic cells. This is then the two sub, uh, sub, sub laminar loops exist in the layer five. One is the uh, related cortical thalamo, thalamic loops, more this is uh, cortical spinal loops. These are our anatomical observation in the summary, but recently uh, in collaboration with Dr. Uh, Morita Kenji, anatomist, we made a, a virtual model of this circuit. 
This is just a virtual. Please listen with uh, um, don't uh, attacking. And uh, they, they, and uh, we, we thought uh, C CCS cells represent uh, one action or one, uh, one action, selected action. This uh, CCS cells excite direct cells and thalamocortical cells by direct pathway, SNR inhibition. And other, other pathways, direct connection from CCS to a CPN cells. This conjunctive activation from uh, thalamocortical loops, uh, cort uh, basal ganglia thalamocortical loops, and this direct uh, local circuit excite conjunctive excitation excite a CPN cell activation. Next, uh, these, uh, uh, this uh, possibility, these CPN cells uh, uh, can, could uh, work as uh, excited reverberation, then this uh, can cause a uh, corticothalamic activation or corticospinal activation induction of the movement. And the next stage, during this state, this activity is transmitted to the uh, SNR, but the SNR also inhibits the substantia nigra pulse compactor. <coughs> and the next uh, action was selected some group of CCS cells connected to, uh, uh, excited to the thalamus, thalamic cells uh, also excited, uh, uh, excited by substantia nigra compactor by direct pathway. Then a uh, previous action, well, if related to, the, uh, related to the reward, is uh, input to the, uh, was transmitted to the substantia nigra pulse compactor. Then this direct pathway, this uh, uh, reward, reward and uh, previous uh, selected actions value and uh, executed actions value was converged on the substantia nigra compactor, then <coughs> do, uh, the dopamine cells maybe calculate the reward prediction error. This is, uh, this case is, uh, this, uh, this is very simplified model. We have no evidence, but uh, 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 just we, remind, uh, we thought this kind of story. Maybe not true. <laughs> and uh, uh, and this, this, in this connection is too simplified because uh, CCS cells not only innovated direct pathway cells, but also indirect pathway cells are some. And, uh, and striat nigra projection cells not uh, only projected substantia nigra, uh, nigra, pulse reticulata, then uh, they also proje uh, pro projected uh, globus pallidus. Then we think this uh, cross interaction affects the uh, two pathways. The, this maybe correspond to the time discount factor calculation. Anyway, we found, we are now identified the uh, projection subtypes of layer five. Among them, two of them cells are very different, hierarchical, uh, hierarchical, hierarchical connected, and uh, internal synaptic structure is very different. And this kind of, uh, uh, this kind of connection, and if this is uh, a reverberation <coughs> circuit, if the, these circuits are coupled with extracortical structures, uh, some calculation, uh, some neuronal calculation become possible. One, uh, we thought one example, uh, TD error calculation in the enforcement learning. Uh, this work was collaborated with Mieko Morisima and Takeshi Otsuka Hirai kun, and um, uh, collaboration with Kenji Morita, University of Tokyo. Thank you for your patience. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we have a panel discussion at the end of this uh, session, uh, workshop, but uh, the, we, we have s uh, some time to take a short, several, a few uh, short questions. Uh, please stay, uh, raise your hand and uh, get to your microphone, uh, get a microphone, and then uh, Stan, you are the first. Stan is the first. Thank you very much for a very interesting now, uh, the uh, uh, division between CCS and CPN, as suggested by Rayner, it, uh, it's of course a very attractive possibility, but it has also been met with some resistance in 
some other circles. Have you been able to actually confirm that you have the, the selective um, projections to the D1 medium spiny and the NCPN on the D2 medium spiny? Uh, so yeah. it, it, because it's a very attractive possibility, but I would just like to know uh, uh, if it's mainly Rainer's results. That yeah, Rainer's right question. Yeah. Uh, Rainer's data. Yeah. They, are, they apply the retrograde tra uh, tracer into the uh, uh, pontinucleae and the contralateral striatum. Mm. And they found the preferential innovation to D1 and D2 cells. Yeah. But electrophysiologically, <coughs> some group oh. deny, uh, denies yes. that data. But uh, uh, I think uh, uh, Liner's ele uh, electron microscope data. The reason is, uh, sorry, I don't have data. But uh, uh, IT cells is uh, IT cells is not uh, uh, the CCS cell is not all COM cells. Mm -hmm. uh, they stimulated all co against the liner's data. They stimulate the contralateral cortex grossly. That contains a very heterogeneous group. Sure. Why is that? This is a COM type one cells. Is uh, in the within intracortical circuitry. They are very well coupled layer two three cells. Then I speculate, this is speculation, uh, this COM type 1 cells are similar to the more di uh, innovative indirect cells. That the electrophysiological data against the Reiner's data is not uh, real against. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. Very glad to hear that. Uh, yeah, the last question. So, so the, since this is a neuroinformatics Congress, I think I'll ask some questions related to the data you have and the sharing of the data. Mm -hmm. We'd also have questions to the biology here, but uh, we'll leave that. So, so when looking at what you've done, we, we have uh, in our lab working in part of the same systems, something that would look quite a bit different actually, which is often the case. Mm -hmm. So then you go to papers and you try to understand and sometimes you don't cite someone because you really don't understand what's the difference. Now we might s resolve it if, if we had access to some of the data. So do you have plans for, 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 for opening up uh, to some of the underlying data, allowing others to, um, to look into those data and maybe understand them and interpret them? Uh, do you have specific plans in that direction? Uh, to the share the data? Yeah, one way or the other. Uh, uh, sorry, this is a hypothesis. And, uh, uh, I was it thinking is, of the experimental is, data. Uh, to yeah. identify the subtype is a very difficult work. Mm -hmm. And uh, morphology and uh, electrophysiology combining a little stronger, mm -hmm. but not so strong. Mm -hmm. Most strong uh, identification is specific molecular expression. Mm -hmm. Long time ago, I spent a lot of time to classify the GABAGIC cells. Mm -hmm. But at, the, at that time, uh, uh, specific marker, Parvamin, Somatosin, VIP, Carvage, very powerful to identify the cells. Mm -hmm. Then it's better, to, it's better to combine uh, molecular uh, categorization and these is, would be very uh, informative. Uh, uh, sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. no, the point is that you have many data types and some yeah. of these data types could be shared efficiently, uh, that's yeah. allowing people to use your data and yeah. understand their own data better. I think uh, we can share to, uh, we already sent GABAGIC cell data to the some, I don't know the name, to the uh, uh, sharing system. Then so I, I, in the future, yeah. I'd like to these uh, the piramidal cells also. Maybe the RNCF data space introduced this morning yeah. could be an initial step. Okay, thank you very much. Well, nice.